in our devotional aspect of it. I'm going to ask that we all stand. I'm just going to do this song. This is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. After two, we'll begin. One, two. This is the day, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has. I will rejoice, I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Okay, one more time. I think you're just warming up. And you know, in, in physical education, as Mr. Charlton will tell you, you have to warm up before you go, go into a major activity. So now, after two, one, two. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Okay, let us bow our heads for prayer. Father, we thank you for this day that you have made. And indeed, it is our duty to rejoice and be glad in it. We know, God, that had it not been for you and your love and your care, us we wouldn't have been here this morning we want to thank you God for your loving kindness and your tender mercies towards us and we thank you for the opportunity Lord to in, to be engaged in this meaningful activity as we celebrate in this fashion father we pray that you will continue to let your love abide within us be with us now God we pray and I pray that you will lead things according to your will and let things be done to your honor and to your glory as we say thanks to you in Jesus' name who taught us when we pray to say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, students, it is indeed a great privilege, not for only me, but for all of us to be gathered in this manner this morning. It is one that, in my opinion, will give us an opportunity to have our knowledge being broadened, broadened based on the level of information and skill sets that are being exposed. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to use this opportunity to welcome every school, every institution that is present here this morning, every sponsor, every person that would have taken the time out from their busy schedule, from their organization, wherever you are coming from, to be here. It's a case where you could have found yourself elsewhere, but indeed you have taken the time out, you have made the sacrifice to be here this morning. And as such, I implore you to put your hands together and give yourselves a round of applause. May I use this opportunity, and I know that it will be done later on, but I have seen in, my, in the audience Mr. Furtado, an attorney at law and a law lecturer here. I want to welcome you, sir. And it, it is always said that the best is safe for last. Sometimes we have the roses among the thorn. Ms. Vilma Charlton, one of our esteemed Olympian. May Ms. Charlton, may you stand so that they can see that you are as young as you were 
20 years ago. And Miss Charlton is a very known Olympian and she's very active within Jamaica and also a member of the Jamaica Amateur Athletics Administrative Association. And Miss Charlton, welcome again today too. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome you all to day two of our symposium. I want to use this opportunity to welcome the attending schools that are here. The Enid Bennett High School, if you are here, just raise your hand or stand. Happy Grove High School, all the way out of Portland. Grange High, Grange out of Westmoreland. Well, I think they are on the way. Garvey Masia out of St. Anne, Garvey, uh, no, not St. Anne, Clarendon. Immaculate Conception. Immaculate. Come on, Immaculate, stand where you are so that they can see Immaculate. Immaculate is here. Stand for me so that they can see and give you a round of applause. Welcome, Immaculate. Enid Bennett High School. Enid Bennett, not here yet. Oh, Enid Bennett. Oh, boy, Enid Bennett is so important. They listed them twice. So, Enid Bennett, welcome. Geisel High. Holy Trinity. Not here yet. Roger Clark. Bridgeport, Jose Marty, Jose Marty, and I'm sure that we have uh, GC Foster students. Where are you? Are you afraid of standing? This is your place, and so you can stand and make noise if you wish to. Right, Brian? So, GC, Mar have I left out any school? Have I left out an institution? No, have I left out, did I leave out any? No. And I want to also acknowledge the sponsors. Um, we have, as our title sponsor, the Tourism Enhancement Fund, TEF. Do we have a representative here this morning? No, not yet. I'm, sh I'm sure that they are outside. We also want to acknowledge the presence of JTA, Jamaica Teachers Association, TIP Friendly Society, FHC, Link Up Online, Team Jamaica Bittle, Crimson Dawn Manufacturing, Quest Security, Tread Labs, Butler's Massage Services, and I'm sure do we have any other sponsor that I have left out? Nature Valley? Do, I, do, do we have any other sponsor? We sink oh, water. Okay, so whenever you are thirsty, then you know where to go. Water is here. So courtesy of Wisinko, right? And I want to welcome you all, welcome you again. And I know that you are an integral part of our setup because if we are thirsty, then we are going to be dehydrated. And if we are dehydrated, then the activity come to a close. Thanks for your presence. The exhibitors that we have today, the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information, Region 6. Ministry of Health, St. Catherine. Restorative Justice, St. Catherine. Ultra Blaze, Edicom. Tip Friendly Society, Power Grid Electrical. DK Turner Enterprise, JN Bank. Stewie Mobile Fitness, NCB Bank. Price Mart, Print Big, Wisinko. Grace Foods. So these are some of the exhibitors that we have this morning. And ladies and gentlemen, I just want to again welcome you and wish that as the day progresses that you will have a very, very productive and meaningful one. At this moment, I'm going to use this opportunity to welcome Mr. Ofneil Lamont as he comes with our first item. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome on stage Ofneil Lamont. Yeah. So as we do this item, I just ask you to, if you want to wave your hands or if you want to stand, you know, we can do it together.
Can we just put our hands together like this? Wave our hands. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh. All things are working for my good. He's intentional. Never failing, all things are working for my good. Yeah, he's intentional, yeah. Never fail, can you sing it with me? All things are working for my good. He's intentional, oh, never failing. I know all things are working for my good. Oh, he's intentional, yeah. Never failing. All things are working for my good. Yeah, he's intentional. All things are working for my good. 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 Oh, 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 oh
and I'm sure that the teachers and lecturers here are working for your good, the students. So I'm going to ask that the students now put your hands together for the lecturers and teachers who are in our midst because they are working for your good. Put your hands together. And in that, in that setting, I want to use this opportunity to welcome in our midst our, our principal, Mr. Maurice Wilson, OD. And uh, sitting next to him is a very esteemed gentleman who you would have seen at many times, on, if not on your screen, is around you in the community, wherever. Mr. is Mr. Christopher Samuda, who is the big boss for the Jamaica Olympic Association, and he's our speaker this morning. But I can't, I don't have that autonomy or that authority to welcome him the way that um, Gabriel will do. So I'm going to ask Gabriel now, who has that responsibility, to welcome and introduce Mr. Samuda to come. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for Gabriel Thompson, who will now come and introduce Mr. Christopher Samuda. Good morning, everyone. All protocols observed. Mr. Christopher Samuda is an attorney at law, company advisor and consultant with a successful career spanning over 20 years, poor continents and innumerable industries. Mr. Samuda is a founding partner in the law firm Samuda and Johnson. He is the chairman of the board of directors of the Creative Production and Training Center Limited CPTC, a government-owned film and production institution which was established over 25 years ago. He is also the chairman of the board of governors of the Media Technology Institute. Christopher is the president of Jamaica Paralympic Association, the chairman of the Jamaica Paralympic Foundation, and the president of the Jamaica Disability Cricket Federation, JDCF. He is also the chairman of the St. Christopher Music Limited and the chairman of Strategic Corporate Interventions Limited. He is a presenter on varied topics and a motivational speaker. He is the immediate past president of, the, of both the Caribbean Confederation of Credit Unions, which with oversight responsibility of over 200 credit unions and the Jamaica Cooperative Credit Union League Limited with oversight responsibility of over 40 credit unions. He also represented the Caribbean as its delegate to the World Council of Credit Unions during his presidency of the Confederation. Mr. Samuda is the former president of GSB Cooperative Credit Union Limited one of the oldest credit unions in the Caribbean. Mr. Samuda is a former deputy chairman of the Copyright Tribunal, Jamaica. He is a former member of the Council of the Jamaica Bar Association and co-chair of the People's Energy Vision Program, sponsored by the Inter-American Development Bank. He also had the privilege of serving GSB Cooperative Credit Union Limited, arguably one of the oldest credit unions in the Caribbean. As its president from 2000 to 2006, this credit union emerged, this credit union merged with another to become First Heritage Cooperative Credit Union. He is the lead advisor to several Jamaican commercial entities and is also a member of the board of Woolmers Boys School, which has a rich contribution in education for over 275 years. Mr. Samuda holds a Bachelor of Laws, LLB degree, with upper second class honors from the University of the West Indies, and a certificate of legal education from the Norman Manley Law School. He was admitted to practice at the Jamaica Bar in 1986. It is with pleasure to introduce Mr. Christopher Samuda.
Thank you very much for that introduction. And I want to, from the very inception, record my appreciation and gratitude to the G.C. Foster College of Physical Education and Sport for allowing me the opportunity to address you this morning. And I want to focus on the values in sport. We often speak about the economics of sport, the commercialization of sport. But I want to focus this morning on the values of sport, on the value of sport. And many of students here would understand that the university of life and living teaches us a fundamental lesson that sport embraces, and it is this. If the mind makes the appointment, the body will keep it. If the mind makes the appointment, the body will keep it. And your experience as students here at the G.C. Foster College of Arts and at other institutions, you have the privilege of enjoying that camaraderie that brotherhood and sisterhood that you share as sports citizens of a global village. That teaches you that the mind, the body, the spirit, and the soul constitute a unity, a partnership, which is essential to the development of the person, and that their interrelation, the mind, body, soul, and spirit, their interrelation gives rise to a wellspring of potential which when released, transforms into the reality of success. And the theme for this symposium is unleashing the potential, physical education and sport wellness for sustainable development. We all know that the bloodstream of sport runs deep in the marrow of our people, particularly you, our youth. And it is organic to the culture and character of our villages, our towns, our cities, and indeed our country. It runs subterranean in the veins of aspiring youth who sit before me. It oxygenates the heart to be lion-hearted on the field of play. And it educates the cells of the mind. It educates the cells of the mind not to negotiate with defeat, but rather to shun it. The body of sport requires continual renewal to ensure its health, wellness and functionality. It sometimes requires mandatory surgery to ensure that the mandate remains relevant and commanded of confidence and support. And sometimes it needs a rebirth in guaranteeing generational succession and sustainability. And my friends, the greatest resources of sustainable development are people who remain the originators industry players, and pacemakers of social and economic development, despite the march of science and technology, which have given birth to robotics and artificial intelligence. People remain the creators and architects, the engineers, the inventors of progress, and it is no different in sport. So I come back, students and ladies and gentlemen, to the fundamental lesson if the mind of the greatest resources of sustainable development, which are people, do not fulfill the appointment with destiny and success, the physical body of sport will not, and arguably cannot keep it. And let us understand this. Physical education is the application of knowledge and experience gained in the crucible of our minds, in enabling physical competence and self-awareness with a view to building an active and healthy lifestyle, with a view to creating a competitive edge in competition, and with a view to fostering that enthusiasm in recreational pursuits. So students, the mind must first make the appointment and fulfill that appointment. And if it does not, the body will not keep that appointment. And this is so in sport as it is in other endeavors. It is therefore, and I now speak to the students of the G.C. Foster College, it is therefore in this cradle of learning at Winter Pen Road that your minds must be ignited, set ablaze, and unleash the energy that will give current and currency to sustainable development and that will drive 
a nation on a mission. It is, in, it is within this historic cathedral of sport, which I may say, which was conceived in the fertile mind and accomplishments of your benefactor. It is within the sport edifice that ecumenical values of physical education and sport wellness must be found in sustaining the vision and continuing the mission of Gerald Claude Eugene Foster. And more so, as modernity and economists have understandably given sustainable development a meaning primarily in economic terms. But this morning I want to commend to you an interpretation of sustainable development, which is more defining of our vision in sport and our mission in sport, and certainly your mission here and your vision here at the GC Forrester College. And let that expression, sustainable development, embody the principles of respect self-belief, integrity, equality, team building, and inclusion. Let that interpretation of sustainable development include thought and cultural values, man's humanity to man, and a deep and deepening sense of brotherhood and sisterhood. These students, these ladies and gentlemen, are the genetics of sustainable development in sport. These are the characteristics that exemplify responsible citizenship in sport. These are the attributes that trademark the quality of life and living at your own school, at the GC Foster College, and beyond the college in the University of Life. But don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Economics is important. And this is why I have always articulated in every forum that a standalone national business and commercial model of sport, as distinct from a sport policy which deals with a lot of things, is an economic imperative in blueprinting and commercializing the interrelation of sport, tourism, entertainment, and also culture. Sport is no longer a business, but a commercial, a commercial enterprise that has transcended geographic divides and domestic and regional and continental economies. Sport is a commercial enterprise that is denominated in innumerable currencies, that is spoken in countless languages, creoles and dialects, in staking its claim as an important and universal index of social and economic development. But the reason why we are here as sports citizens, the reason why you are here as graduates of your school, the reason why graduates are here and educators does not rely or reside exclusively in economics. And why do I say that? Physical education and sport wellness are conceived first in thought. It's conceived first in thought. Then it is framed in propositions and findings of science and medicine and psychology, to name a few. But most importantly, it is framed in values which underpin and gird the development and determine sustainability. Yes, and we all know what our country needs now is value and the values of love, sweet love and respect, not just for some, but for everyone if nationhood is to become a living and daily DNA experience. And it is absolutely important for the youth who are seated before me here that the values of sport must be inculcated in your culture, your way of life, in and out of school. And the respect that you must show first for yourself and then your peers must be a natural outgrowth of that. And sport and the GC Foster College have that undiscovered potential to unleash on a fraternity on a people of Jamaica, that unity of mind, body, soul, and spirit, that energy of mind, that energy of body, soul, and spirit, which can be defining of Jamaica's personhood, our present and our future, not only in sport, but in civic life. The Jamaica Olympic Association, of which I have the humility and distinction of leading, hears and understands 
the call for sport to be a dynamic, revolutionary force of change and not a spent force of continuity. We hear the cry for sport to be renewed, reincarnated in repurposing the infrastructure of sport. We hear the cry for redefining sport development, which must, from our perspective at the Jamaica Olympic Association, include a national facilities infrastructure plan, whether parish-based or county-based. It must include a formal administrative network that is parish or county-based. Functional and functioning stadium, multi-sport indoor complexes leased to and managed by private sectoral interests with conditionalities relating to community access and talent development. It must include a national business and commercialization model. And certainly, it has to be included in it an activation of a national management and technical training program aimed primarily at investing in our youth with sport-specific skills set in those areas which accord with the objectives and goals of the National Sport Plan. The Jamaica Olympic Association articulates and hears, and we are in the vanguard of that revolution, and I have no doubt that the GC Foster College is similarly positioned. Principal, the GC Foster College of Physical Education and Sport, having the enviable privilege in these very halls of instruction, of nurturing minds, cultivating positive attitudes, defining sportsmanship, and engendering character, which are critical hallmarks of capacity building, institutional strengthening, and sustainable development. GC Foster must stand guard in that revolution. This landmark institution and its inhabitants must stand guard, keep guard, void of the anxiety of a watchman waiting for dawn, but be on guard. Yes, GC Foster, stand guard and be prepared for battle with an open heart, undying commitment, valor, and an abiding conviction in nationhood, essential ammunition in winning the war. So what do I say to the GC Foster College this morning, which is hosting all of us in this wonderful symposium? Open wide the windows of your mind. Open wide the doors of your soul. Open wide tomorrow's vision sublime. Open wide, let your spirit unfold. Open wide the windows of your mind. Open wide the doors of your soul. Open wide the vision sublime. Open wide, let your spirit unfold. Let the resilient spirit of Gerald Foster continue to unfold and permeate the earth on which you walk here at the GC Foster College and the air that you breathe at the GC Foster College. Continue to unfold the mission with courage and with bold and steadfast and unwavering steps. Continue to educate that mind. Continue to enlighten and inspire the new, the now, and the next generation with the wisdom of the past and the prescience of the future. Continue to answer principle, continue to answer, to answer resolutely in this symposium and in other quarters, the compelling call, the stentorian call for change, transformation, and renewal. You who are students now have a very sacred opportunity as inheritors of tomorrow. You must therefore ensure that the unity of mind, spirit, body, and soul compels a responsible attitude, a responsible citizenship, so that when you inherit the earth with all of its jewels and inherit all that has gone before you, you will be able to say to yourselves, we have been good stewards 
towards a value, towards the values of sport, towards the values of nationhood, and stewards of the value of God's kingdom here on earth. Let those be your watchwords. Let those be defining of your student life. And let them be the hallmarks of your life in the university of life and living. It was certainly my pleasure to bring you those thoughts this morning. And I trust that I have ignited thought that would lead to action, which is what Jamaica needs. Good morning. The message was as clear as crystal. And I'm sure that you would have gotten the concept in which you would have spoken and everything has been delivered. I'm going to ask Mr. Samuda. Mr. Samuda, on behalf of the GC Foster College of Physical Education and Sport, our sponsors and all our guests, we thank you for informing us on the values of sports at our annual Sports Heritage Symposium. We know that your message will resonate with us and we will use it for the betterment of Jamaican sports environment. We give you this gift to express just a fraction of our appreciation. Mr. Samuda, thank you. Thank you, ladies. At this moment, um, I'm going to invite Ms. Candy Thomas to do a special presentation. Put your hands together for Candy Thomas. It makes me want to cry And I can hear it in the hush 
I'm sure that you would want to give her a bigger round of applause. The passion, that meaning, when you put your all in it, then you know you've got a lot to get out of it. Isn't that so? Put your hands together once more for Candy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is just a part of what GC Foster College has to offer. So sometimes when you think it's all about the traditional things, when you come here, you'll see we have more than you would have seen on the surface. So I implore you, those students who are here, as soon as you're finished and you're ready to go in the tertiary, let GC Foster be your first choice. You won't regret it. The experience, the exposure, everything that you can think of is encapsulated right here in the package that we have to offer. Put your hands together once more for Candy Thomas. I want to use this opportunity <clears throat> to acknowledge the sponsors, Tourism Enhancement Fund, JTA Cooperative Credit Union, TIP Friendly Society, FHC, Link Up Online, Team Jamaica Bickler, Crimson Dawn Manufacturing Company, Quest Security, Tread Laboratories, Butler, Butler Massage Services, and the exhibitors we have outside the Ministry of Education, Youth, Information, and from Region 6, Ministry of Health, St. Catherine, Restorative Justice, St. Catherine, Ultra Blaze, Edicom, Tip Friendly Society, Power Grid Electrical, DK Turner Enterprise, Stewie's Mobile Fitness Services, JN Bank, National Commercial Bank, Price Smart, Print Big, Resinko, Grace Foods. Ladies and gentlemen, had it not been for these people, these organizations, 
this would not have been a possibility. So I ask you to put your hands together and give these persons, these groups, these organizations a big wel welcome and a round of applause. And I cannot allow the students from the different schools to go unnoticed. The Enid Bennett High School, Happy Grove, Grange Hill, Garvey Maceo, Immaculate, Geisel, Holy Trinity, Roger Clark, Bridgeport, Jose Marti. Did I leave out any school? No. And again, the teachers who make it happen. The lecture. Rossies, you know, I, you know, I'm going to ask, per, allow me, pardon me, you know, we have a very, a young man who just left a few weeks ago, in my, in, that is my calculation. Stand, stand for me, son. I call him son. So m m many of you of GC, you would have known him. He left last year. And, you know, he was a, a member of the football team. And I, I, I'm using him as an example. And when person would have seen him, boy, they say, you know, the man, they now, not, 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 nothing would not go on for them, man, in all terms. And, you know, and I'm, when I saw him walking with the teacher and the students, you know, my heart moved. Because sometimes we want to write off people because of certain things. But I'm telling you, even, even in the Bible, in its context, I said nothing will, will come out of, out of Nazareth, those places. So when you look at it, nothing good will come out because guess what? But when you look, Mr. Samuda, you would have known because you have interacted with young people. Miss Charlton would have known. And he's one of the examples out of GC Foster. And I'm sure that the teacher there and the students, you know, they have started to love him already. And, I, and I'm expecting that good things will come out of Rossi's. Not only because of the expertise that he has taken from GC Foster, but because of his own intuitiveness and, the, and the, that internal, the intrinsic motivation that he has and the example that he will be setting. Young people, you can do it. You can do it because in every person, there is a good. Put your hands together once more. I'm going to invite Miss Simone Uta Walt to come and do the vote of thanks for us. And might I ask us that in the next 10 minutes, we'll take a break. We're going to resume exactly at 1030 and if you miss at that time, you may miss a very good package. Because yesterday, when you, those persons were early, they were re rewarded. They get special gifts. So if you are early, then you may be in for a treat. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. All Portugals observed. I stand before you with a heart of gratitude and immense appreciation as we bring this enlightening session to a close. It has been a session filled with profound insights and the exchange of valuable knowledge. First and foremost, I'd like to express our deepest gratitude to our distinguished keynote speaker, Mr. Christopher Samuda. Your expertise and passion and dedication, sir, has illuminated our minds and enriched our understanding of human beings being the greatest resource of sustainable development. I thank you. A heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you in the audience, the visiting teachers and students from high school and colleges, special invited guests, and friends of this noble institution. Your presence here today is a testament to your dedication and personal and professional development, in person and professional development. We hope that the insights gained will continue to inspire and guide you in your respective fields. As we come to the end of this session, let us carry forward the spirit of curiosity and commitment to lifelong learning. May the connections forged and the knowledge gained throughout this symposium serve as a catalyst for positive change in our lives and extend to the greater community. In embodying the words from our college song, keep the excellence of learning in your mind and let the light of GC Foster ever shine. Thank you once again, and we look forward to future gatherings where we can continue to explore and grow together. And grow together. Thank you.
Thank you, Mrs. Walsh. Just to let you know that the restrooms are behind here. So thank you very much. We, res we return here in 10 minutes' time, so you have a few minutes to re refresh yourself, get a break, and right back here at 10.30 for our next very exciting, informative session. So we love you, bad. That's why we treat you so good. Have yourself now a wonderful 10 minutes. Go get yourself refreshed and return here in a few minutes.